Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Jeffrey Mickler from the Society of St. Paul. I'm Barb Zorn from Holy Family and St. Columba Cathedral. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Christine Sean. Forgive our sins as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray. But you alone can grant us grace to leave the words we say. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with each one of you. And also with you. As we begin the divine liturgy, trusting in the mercy of God, let us ask for forgiveness of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace, peace to, to his people, people on earth. earth. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, Almighty God and Father, Father we, we worship you, we give, give you thanks, thanks. We, we praise, praise you for your glory. glory. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only Son, Son of the Father, Father Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Creator of all, look down upon your people in their moments of need. For you alone are the source of our peace. Bring us to the dignity which distinguishes the poor in spirit and show us how great is the call to serve, that we may share in the peace of Christ who offered his life in the service of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbors injustice. Then, when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. My soul give thanks to the Lord, all my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, 
we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of repaying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down and did him homage and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of that servant let him go, and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling on his knees, <coughs> his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back, but he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Today is the 10th anniversary of a world tragedy, the attacks in New York City, Washington, D.C., on September 11th, a decade ago. I call it a world tragedy rather than simply a national tragedy because people on those planes, in those buildings, came from every corner of the world. They were victims of violence and hatred and religion gone berserk. They suffered horribly and terribly in the last moments of their lives. We pray for them as Catholics because we're convinced our prayers can accompany those who have died and ease their way into the divine presence. Whether a person goes through a purgation of 10 seconds or 10 years is irrelevant. Somehow our love for them can touch, aid, and assist them. 
Our prayers also go out to all of their families, those people who lost a spouse, a child, a brother, a sister, a cousin, a close friend. There's something empty in their lives because of that terrible day. And we pray for them, that they will be consoled by the fact that those they loved will meet them one day again in the kingdom of love if they persevere in their own loving way of life on earth. But it was also a world tragedy because those events had repercussions around the world triggering other wars with other people being slain, some combatants, some innocent, and the tears and the heartbreaks and the sorrows that would grip humanity because of what was triggered on September 11th. And we pray for all of those people as well that they may be comforted, consoled, and healed in God's own way, in God's own time. Now, the readings today perfectly illustrate the way we should live, not the way we do live. The first reading talks about those who are violent and cling to their wrath and unleash wrath on others. How ungodly that is. And our gospel reading talks about forgiveness and how the disciple of Jesus has to have a forgiving heart, a loving heart. All of us have reason to hate, to be filled with wrath. But if we want to be filled with God, we have to let go of that. Let God be the judge of the world and we be lovers in a world filled with hate. Our prayer is that the religions around the world will all nurture in their followers a sense of understanding and a sense that no one could kill or slay in God's name without one day facing the judgment of God. Let us pray now the Nicene Creed. We believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in fulfillment of the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray together now for our needs and the needs of all God's church. For our church to be a model of compassion and forgiveness in a world far too immersed in vengeance and anger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For any who feel estranged from God, that they may come to know a God who is kind, merciful, and rich in compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For first responders and others who aid and protect our communities with their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the safety of all the members of our armed forces and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear all of our prayers. Answer them as you always do in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns gently with you, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of many human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And please, with the sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts, Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, hear the prayers of your people and receive our gifts. May the worship of each one here bring salvation to all. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In you we live and move and have our being. Each day you show us a Father's love. Your Holy Spirit dwelling within us gives us on earth the hope of unending joy. Your gift of the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is the foretaste and the promise of the Paschal Feast of Heaven. With thankful praise in company with the angels, we glorify the wonders of your power. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying you destroyed our death, rising you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord Jesus, come in glory. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Benedict, our Pope, George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, Father, who art art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you also. And also with you. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, Quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord, I am am not worthy worthy to receive you, but only say the word and and I I shall be healed. healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist you have given us influence our thoughts and our actions. May your spirit guide and direct us in your way. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow down your head and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains.